All right, we're going to take a look now at uh, sharing settings within Drive and Docs. Uh, so we're going to take a look here for right here, which is sharing settings. And uh, take a look at some of the, the options you have here. So let's fo first take a look here at the, uh, we're going to focus here on the uh, sharing uh, uh, options here. Um, let me go ahead and open this up here. And you have a lot of different options here. So by, the way I have it set up here is that files owned by users here in my domain, Tech Coach Wattis, can can be shared outside. This all applies to uh, files in all shared drives as well. So uh, I have no problem sharing uh, any of my documents with people who are outside of the domain. So if you don't want them to be able to share um, outside of the domain, you can either do it only with uh, allowed uh, like whitelisted domains, or you can turn it off completely where only within your domain that you can share uh, files. So this is, again is, is up to you, the policy of uh, your school and, uh, and district here. So. You can also hear the access checker, um, meaning that um, you can even set it up where people can have a, a document shared with them, even if they don't have a Google account. This um, could be useful if you're sharing with parents. Not every parent has a Google account, but you want to share a file with them where they can view it through the web. Because if you think about it, any file saved in Google Drive is technically its own kind of website. So if you have this uh, uh, open here, then you can share certain files with parents who don't even need a Google account to open. So that's something uh, to go ahead and consider. So you have a lot of different sharing options here. Again, you want, th these are conversations you want to have with your uh, district administrators on uh, as far as uh, your privacy settings in here. So um, if you need to make any adjustments to these, the sharing options here is where you would go to adjust those things.